in the politics in history. Um, but again, that history only, for me only goes back to the year 2000. So um, hopefully uh, this will hold up for some time until Brian runs for re-election in uh, two years. I didn't meet Brian Lentz until August of 2007. I heard a lot of really great things about him before then. There are a lot of things that, that Brian has that he shares with a lot of elected officials. He's a lawyer. A lot of elected officials are lawyers. But before getting to Harrisburg, Brian's resume, I think, is kind of intimidating. He was in the Iraq War, Special Forces. I started making stuff up. <laughs> Special Forces. He was a peacekeeper, a prosecutor, a client advocate. This is an impressive person. And if you look at all these things, one thing that you notice is Brian's a fighter, and that's exactly what the PA 7th needs right now. Because the Republican machine in Delaware County is looking at this race, and I think they're foaming at the mouth. And they think that they're going to take it. I think they think they're going to steal it. But one thing that they don't have, that we do, is Brian Lentz. So I think this race is one of the most competitive races in the country. Aubrey was telling me it's been targeted by both parties. It's on the top 10 list of most competitive races. It's the only open primary in Pennsylvania. 2010 is not 2008. So we need Brian Lentz to win and he needs your support and our support. So as long as we keep these fundraisers packed, show up for Brian, work for him, and help him out, I think he's going to take it, and that's my prediction. So here goes Brian Lentz, everyone. Thank you for that uh, generous introduction, and I want all of, to thank all of you for being here. I don't know if you realize it or not, but you're at the greatest young professionals event ever organized. <laughs> and, uh, I'd like to thank the uh, two young professionals on my staff, uh, Aubrey and Talia, for all the hard work they did getting here. <laughs> and uh, for those of you that aren't young that snuck in, you're welcome as well. <laughs> but uh, this is an exciting race. As, as you just heard, this is going to be the only seat where there's not an incumbent the entire state of Pennsylvania in 2010. Uh, so it's going to be a battleground. It's going to be a place where all of the arguments that we're hearing on the national level are going to, going to be played out. And uh, you know, I, I am proud of my background, and I think my background gives me the ability to be a good congressman. I, was, I wasn't Special Forces, but I was a Ranger. Uh, I was an Airborne Ranger in the Army. Uh, uh, that's okay. <laughs> but, uh, and uh, I was a uh, prosecutor in Philadelphia for six years, and I've been a legislator for three years. I think that's a pretty good resume for somebody you want to send to Congress. Uh, and I've done things in each of those jobs. Uh, I led soldiers overseas in the Sinai Peninsula, I led soldiers in Bosnia, and I led soldiers in Iraq in 2004. As a prosecutor, I went into the courtroom for six years. I, I went into the courtroom, and I actually personally prosecuted cases. I rec represented victims of crime. Uh, and as a legislator, I've gotten laws passed. Uh, I've uh, helped legislate, and I've gotten things done. So I think that's a good uh, resume to send to Congress. But I also, uh, to echo what Gaetano said, uh, I'm not afraid of a fight. I'm not afraid to stand up when I think it's the right thing to do. And in Harrisburg, I've stood up not just to the Republicans, but I've stood up to my own party when I thought they were wrong. And that's the kind of person you need in Washington, D.C. with the big problems we have facing us today. Uh, and I'm going to be the nominee, and we know that the Republican nominee is going to be Pat Mann. So it's time that we start to do a side-by-side -side comparison between me and Pat Mann and asking people who it is they want representing them in Washington, D.C. Now, I told you that I was an Airborne Ranger, that I was a prosecutor, and that I've been a legislator. Pat Mann has not done any of those things. He's never led soldiers. He's never been a legislator, and guess what? He's never prosecuted a case. Now, you may find that surprising because his single credential is that he was a prosecutor. He was a DA and he was a U.S. attorney. But the fact is, 
He has never prosecuted a case in his entire life. He's never gone into a courtroom and represented a victim or an individual. He's been the DA because he was given that job by that Republican machine that you just heard about. And he's been the U.S. Attorney because he was given that job by the President uh, by the name of Bush. Now, that's not a resume of somebody that you want standing up for everyday average people. A guy that's been given his job by a Republican organization. That's not the resume of someone that's going to stand up to his own party or stand up uh, to for, for his constituents and make tough decisions and tough arguments. So I need your help to make sure that I get to watch it. We know that we have some tough problems facing our country, right? We have a national debt that is dangerous, dangerous to our future and dangerous to our economy. Uh, we have a energy policy that is putting us behind the rest of the world. We continue to consume uh, dirty fossil fuels, harm our environment, put ourselves at a disadvantage economically, and become followers instead of leaders in the world. We have a transportation system in the nation, and particularly here in Pennsylvania, that is collapsing. In Pennsylvania, we have 6,000 structurally deficient bridges. Structurally deficient means if you drive across it, there's a chance it might fall down. Uh, that's, that's a crisis, and we need to address this crisis. Now, you're going to hear from my opponent throughout the campaign arguments about fear. You should be afraid of the national debt. You should be afraid on national security. I, I learned as a paratrooper and as a ranger, you don't get anywhere being scared. You don't get anywhere hiding under the table and closing your eyes and waiting for problems to go away. You need to lead. And if you send me to Washington, I will lead on these tough issues. But I need your help to get there. Not just in events like this contributing, but I need you to get involved in a campaign. I need you to get your friends involved in a campaign. You guys, the young ones among you, are the future of our country, right? And 20 years from now, you don't want to look back and say, what did our generation do? Uh, we continue to consume oil, we let our transportation system collapse, and we didn't invest in our education system. Or do you want to say, we're the generation that transformed our energy policy, that created millions of jobs in a clean energy sector, that transformed our transportation policy, uh, that reformed Wall Street, that invested in education, that planned for the future. You want to be that generation, and you want to work for candidates like me that are interested in progress. So I hope you'll sign up as a volunteer. I hope you'll contribute. I hope you'll get involved and get others to get involved so that we can win this election in November and so we can continue to move forward as a country. So thank you again for being here. Enjoy